And hello, hello. I think I'm about a minute early here, so I'll wait a second for um, a couple people to join in here. Uh, I can start off by introducing myself for those who do not know me, who if you haven't seen my scopes before. Um, my name is Carolyn Owens and Carolyn R. Owens and I'm the CEO and Chairwoman of Infinity Coaching Incorporated where we help you up level your skills so you can up level your income. And if you're joining us for the first time, you can go ahead and you know say where you're at, who you are, so we can get to know you. But welcome to our success scopes. We're typically here on Mondays at 2 p.m. and Fridays at 2 p.m. And on Mondays, we're just sharing some tips and strategies that help you move forward in your career, in your life, so that you can have success on your own terms. And in Fridays, we're here, kind of follow up, check in, you know, see how the week went, see how you implemented some of the tips and strategies that we've been talking about. But on Thursdays, this is the first time I've been here like this on a Thursday night. Um, and we're kind of doing a little things differently, uh, more laid back opportunity to take, you know, I can give you tips and strategies on Monday. We can follow up on Friday, but really what does all this really mean to real life? Like with everything that's going on out there, how does it really apply to us and our work and our career and our business? So what, you know, real life experiences, some of the things that I've been through, some of the things I've been, you know, seen and different things. So we're going to take it to a different level where we do a little bit of real talk about those issues and stuff. And for those of you who've been following me, you know, we did a whole series on um, sleep deprivation and the impact that has on your body, your career, um, your relationships, communication, everything. And so we started switching gears about two weeks ago and we started talking about personal responsibility and we talked about being a victim, you know, how we're a victim of our circumstances, our experiences, our beliefs, and how that holds us prisoner, prisoner with our emotions, with our limiting beliefs. And it really stops us from having our, the success that we desire, that we truly want in life. Um, and then this past week, we were talking about more about the blame game, you know, how certain things happen in our lives and we can easily blame it on something else that we don't take that personal responsibility for things that are happening. And so today, tonight, I just want to kind of, you know, our scopes, we try to keep them short, just 15 minutes. We really say, hey, you know, give you a tip strategy because we got so much information coming in at us all the time that we end up in overwhelm and that is just like coming in, coming in. So we keep it short. And so today in terms of you know, talking about, you know, personal responsibility and, you know, what's it really all about? If you think about it, we got some major stuff happening in our world right now, especially here in the U.S. when we're talking about this upcoming election, you know, regardless of who you're voting for, you know, I'm not saying who I'd be voting for, but this 2016 election, there's a lot going on with it. A lot of things that can fall out from it, you know, regardless of who gets in office. And this past, you know, week or so ago, I watched a debate for the first time with my son. You know, he's old enough now, starting to understand everything. And, you know, the, the, when you sit there looking at both candidates and everything, and you're saying to yourself, personal responsibility, if we got, you know, the people that are supposed to be leading our country, what are they doing when it comes to personal responsibility in terms of, you know, when you see the lack of respect, the, you know, you like, if you watched the um, VP debate, the vice presidential debate the other day, you got one guy interrupting a hundred times, you know, a hundred times they counted the different interruptions that were taking place and you got our kids watching it. So what future are we giving our kids? You know, they're sitting here looking at, and then when I talk to him, he's talking about mom, lack of honesty, lack of respect, there's no integrity going on here, the different things that are happening. So this is what we're teaching our kids. This is what they're looking at when it comes to personal responsibility. What's our expectations, you know, for them, for what future they're going to have? And for me, you know, I have a teenage black male son that's already stepping out the door, judged, I'm, you know, single parent, raised solely by me. And you look at that, he's already got a label on him, you know. But then if you got our leaders out here who are not showing any respect, any integrity, honesty, it's okay that you can, you know, you can do all these things. But when it comes to his turn, if he were to do some of these things, what would really be happening to him, you know. 
what what will happen to our young black children that are out there and the different challenges that they're going to face and not just that you got the you know hispanic children all children these days and the different challenges and things they're going to face what are they even knowing about personal responsibility and why should they even bother with it if this is what they're seeing you know that it's okay for them you know to lie and that it's okay for them not to respect each other and how they talk you know to each other all that you know how you know the era and time that I was raised in that's all going out the door where we don't have to be responsible for our actions but what if we are we can shift the game and start teaching our kids to be responsible that what they see on the media what they see our leaders doing is not necessarily what they need to be doing that it's not okay to get up there and you know divulge the truth for you know I mean if you think about it that's our future and that's the different things that we got to face and so for those and people will say, well, I don't have kids. Yeah, but the kids are watching what we're doing. You know, they watch what they say. They watch what we say. They watch what we do. Even if you think you're not, somebody's always watching your actions, especially if you get up on here and you're doing scopes or you're on, you know, Facebook or the different things you're doing or the children that, you know, in your neighborhood and everything, they watch you, you know, and they think, okay, it's okay to do these things. So that's when you think about it when it comes to how's this really coming into play when you talk about personal responsibilities. The main thing you could think about is how does it impact our children? How does it impact our future that they're going to be dealing with? Um, who's going to even be capable of dealing and communicating with other countries when you come into the table talking, you know, they can't, there's going to be no trust established, no boundaries established because you can, you know, pretty much say what you want, talk to people any kind of way and you don't have to be responsible for anything. So why, you know, what's that going to create for us? You know, hi, I see you here, Cal and Farron, you joined us. Um, I was just kind of recapping what we've been talking about and about personal responsibility in terms of when you look at the future of our country and this you know presidential 2016 election that we got going on right now and how it applies to what our kids are seeing you know what they're um looking at that this is okay this is it's okay to lie it's okay to be deceptive and this is how leaders need to be but it's actually taking us down a path that's going to really continue to destroy our cute country and also kind of further tear us apart when it comes to, you know, communication, race relations, the economy, you know, it, it's going to take us down a downward trend. And we got to start thinking for ourselves about, well, what's personal responsibility? You know, it's going to be a hard situation to be in, and you know, regardless of who ends up in office, because when you look at either one, hey, that's what we're facing. No, you know, it's, I've heard somebody told me today when it comes down to it, you know, it's the lesser of two bad choices on whatever happens. But we got to make a choice. I encourage everybody now, get out there and vote. Go ahead and do, you know, make that choice, make that decision. But know that the responsibilities that are going to come with us. Because if it's okay for our leadership to do this, you know, what's it going to, you know, that stuff about it trickles down from the top? What's it going to trickle down to, you know? That's my main concern with this whole thing. You know, I'm, if I'm sitting here talking to you guys about personal responsibility. You know, we can't, I also talked about we can't control the actions of other people. The only thing that we can control is ourselves. And it's going to take a lot of us being able to step up and say time out, what's true? You know, we talk about true and truth, but what's that capital T on what's really true about what's going on? You know, how can we begin to make those changes and differences? In some ways, it's like we're going backwards a lot. You know, we, we, we're taking so many steps backwards to everything that we had grown to and become. You know, to me, hey, it's still the best country to live in. I served proudly in our military, but it's just a lot of things that we need to start taking a look at. And it's time, you know, people don't want to have the conversations. They don't want to sit there and talk about the true issues that we need to face. They want to argue about them. They want to come up with, you know, everything that's wrong, but where's the solutions, you know? How do we want to really, really come to the table with some things that are going to make a difference, that we can really protect the, the, our children, our future? So I just wanted to come in here and hop in for just a few minutes tonight. That's what we're going to do on Thursdays, talk about some, some 
real issues that are coming up on how this whole personal responsibility or whatever our topic of the week is, how it comes to play, that it's going to impact us, is how it's going to impact our future, and what we need to be thinking about. You know, when you sit there, I don't know how many, I encourage you guys, watch the upcoming debates. There's, I think, two more to go between the two uh, presidential candidates. You got a harder decision to make there, who you're going to vote. I think some, even despite what the polls say, a lot of people are still on the fence. And again, I didn't say either way which way I would vote. Um, you know, in some ways, got some things to figure out myself. But I wouldn't say either way which I would. I kind of do know what I'm going to do. But really being able to know my role and how I'm going to be able to step up and have to do some things and teach my son, you know, teach as many of these kids that we can. Some of us have already been through a lot, experienced a lot, and know what can happen. And unfortunately, when you bring somebody into a political office, it takes a couple of years before you see, even see the good or the bad or the outcome. People think it's going to happen overnight, but a lot of decisions that they make, we don't see the effect of it till two, three, four years later. You know, what happened in 2012 or, you know, 2008 when we put somebody in office, that effect and all the, you know, budgets and everything and how it works in the, in, in the big scheme of things, we don't see that effect till years later, till four, six years later how it really comes down because it takes so long and everybody's so busy fighting each other but you know y'all love for those who've been watching me y'all know I love history I love to get into all those different kind of you know economic political historical conversations so but um hey just to give you something to think about you know what's the future here how are we going to take personal responsibility what are we going to teach our children and if you got kids, you guys should be having this conversation with them. If you're a mentor, you were coaching, you know, some sports team or, or your teacher in school, you know, I look at what they're being taught in school and it really it doesn't bring out what's really happening out there when it comes to decisions that's being made that impact us. So, yeah, and I, I had those conversations. Have them with each other. Sit down and have, you know how the barbershop conversations go? You know, have some of them barbershop conversations about the future and what's going to happen. You know, about integrity, about personal responsibility. And you know, that's the way that some of the best conversations occur in a barbershop, right? All right, then. So I just wanted to check in for a few minutes here on a Thursday, kind of do some more real talk. As we get going, this is the first one I've done. We're going to get, you know, into more deeper conversations as things happen, things occur, how it relates to what we're talking about throughout the week. And you can always join us in our free Facebook community, which is uh, infinitycoaching.net slash community, where we are pretty, we, we talk about a lot of motivational things about building wealth, um, uh, different aspects of growing your business, your career, communication, relating to each other. You can join us there. Uh, again, it's infinitycoaching.net slash community and have some conversations there. So I thank you guys for stopping by for a few minutes with us. We'll be back tomorrow, Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern, to wrap up our conversation from the week. Uh, again, we were talking about personal responsibility and the blame game that is not my fault. And you can find out more about that if you're here Friday at 2 p.m. So guys, have a wonderful, blessed night. Thanks for taking the time to be here. And as I said, this is the first time doing a little real talk thing, so it's going to grow. So stick with me, okay? Hang in there with me. I appreciate you and have a wonderful blessed night. See ya.